this video, I'm going to talk about, and I'm going to title it, Eliminating Multiple Roughing Diameters. So let me explain what I mean. I have this shape on the screen here. I'm going to go ahead and select and create a new feature pocket and finish. And if you notice here, and this is the default on a brand new install, that for rough, it has rough pass one and rough pass two. And if I take a look at rough pass one, you can see the tool is a half inch in mill. And then rough pass two is a seven sixteenths. Have you ever wondered why does it do that? Well, let me explain why. And it's actually one of the things that I personally turn off from the default install. So if we go ahead and say OK, and we look at the machining attributes. All right, this is all the attributes or the defaults that are in this particular file that I have open. But on the tool selection tab, if you go to multiple roughing tools, you got a couple options here. And the first one is use a single tool that is automatically selected. The second one says use multiple tools from the largest to the smallest, stopping when the material is gone. And the tool diameters, and there's only one here, and it's a half inch. So what this is telling the system is, anytime we do a milling operation, let's always start with a half inch end mill. And then, it's actually a really, really nice feature, but if we have any radiuses that are smaller and cannot be roughed out with that tool, leaving the finish allowance, it will automatically select the next tool diameter and I will end up with two tools. So if we just change this to use a single tool and I say OK, OK, then open up the feature, you'll notice that we no longer have the two roughing passes. We only have the one and it's the 7 16 10 mil, which was the biggest tool that it could find to contour even the smallest radius. I prefer it to go ahead and pick the one tool that lets me know that that is the biggest tool that can contour the smallest radius. And if I choose at that time to use multiple tools, then I can just go to the milling tab. And right here where it says multiple rough diameters, I could type in 0 0.75 comma, you know, 0.5 comma, and you can even put a zero on the end. And I'm going to say set apply. Notice that now I have three tools. Here's my three quarter. Here's my half. And because I said comma zero, it figured out the seven sixteenths. So again, my point being to eliminate the rough pass one, rough pass two, right off the bat. Uh, you can go into the machining attributes, go to the tool selection, multiple rough, and turn this off or set it to single tool. That way it'll always be one tool. It will be the largest tool possible. And then you can control at that point whether you want multiple tools or not.